Well, hey, everyone, I hope you're all good. I, I don't know if you've noticed, but the days that we're living in, things seem to be changing at an unprecedented rate. And a lot of people come to me and say, well, I'm not a Christian, but I certainly notice that there's something different going on. And that's why I watch all of these type of videos. Well, the idea of this video today is to try and further contextualize, add a bit of perspective on what all of these changes in this culture are actually working towards. This process in my mind began about three months ago when I took a walk along the front of the sea and as I was walking and just, you know, in my own little world, I looked over and there was a man fishing on his own. Now, I don't really know much about fishing myself other than that you put your bait on the end of the line and you cast it out into the water. He was actually using further tactics in order to allure the fish towards the hook and that was to break up bread into breadcrumbs and gradually scatter them into the water so that there was actually like a trail of breadcrumbs floating in the water that eventually led to the final hook. And that got me thinking, you know, about this whole agenda that's rolling out and how we see technology doubling so fast in a matter of five years, two years, it gets so much more advanced and everyone needs the, the latest thing. They queue up for hours for the next release from Apple or whoever. It actually serves as a pretty good analogy of how this agenda is effectively working in that each piece of technology that comes out is in effect another step towards the ultimate hook and of course each time people lap it up because oh th this piece of bait tastes so much better than the last oh it, it's I, I feel um, much less hungry now I, I can do things so much easier with this next one but then you get, they get hungry again for more a year later, two years later, and they take the next piece of bait. They have to get the next one, the next one, the next one, and it's gradually building up until we reach the final hook, line, and sinker, which is the mark of the beast, uh, which is the ultimate plan that this pathway of breadcrumbs is leading towards. Have you noticed the way people need the next gadget? Have you noticed how quickly the last gadget goes out of date? Have you noticed how, how that's speeding up? This it, Incrementally, people have got used to each, each thing and then they need the next thing, the next thing. Have you noticed that only within 50 years, how far it's come? And how each time, people lose yet another aspect to their humanity, to their personality, and that this stuff is not actually helping people as much as it's often intruding on people's lives and stealing and taking away aspects of people's personality. And not only that, but injecting all sorts of demons like uh, addiction and anger and selfishness and impatience not that all of this technology is is evil remember we live in a uh, dualistic paradigm of good and evil so these things can be used for good which is exactly part of the thing we're doing here you know actually reaching people with the truth you can use it to share the gospel of Christ you can use it to for many good purposes but with this good, there is always a negative in this paradigm of good and evil. So you'll see many traits of the characteristics of the Jezebel spirit that is very consistent with the, what we can see unrolling in the time that we live in and the agendas, because ultimately this, this, this is what this is from, being led towards the mark of the beast. 
uh, and being trapped in the web. It is no accident, it is no coincidence that many people are being afflicted with the Jezebel spirit in the day and age we live in that has come partly through this web, through this matrix of television and movies and music and all of this that is promoting this selfish lovers of themselves, this, this selfish narcissistic uh, spirit that is really becoming a, a rampant problem. I'm not sure if you've noticed, but it's an epidemic in the day that we live in. Just like that, when someone comes up and says something like, I am a god, everybody says, who does he think he is? I just told you who I thought I was, a god. I just told you, that's who I think I am. said unto the woman, Ye shall not surely die. For God doth know that in the day ye eat thereof, then your eyes shall be opened, and ye shall be as gods. For in the day that thou eatest thereof, thou shalt surely die. I just told you who I thought I was. A god! And the smoke of their torment goes up forever and ever, and they have no rest day or night these worshippers of the beast and its image, and whoever receives the mark of its name. 